Lesson 1, The Birth of Chinese Civilization. Before we begin reading, I'm going to read through the questions that we need to answer while reading. Number 1. How did mountains and deserts affect Chinese civilizations? Number 2. How did rivers help civilization develop in China? And number 3, marking the text. In the text, you're going to drag the red circle over the name of what historians believe to be the first Chinese dynasty. The Land of China Two powerful rivers have helped shape Chinese history. The Huanghe, or Yellow River, flows across China. As it flows, it carries large amounts of rich soil. The soil spreads along the banks of the river. This makes the land more fertile or high quality for farming. Farmers along the Huanghe are able to grow more food. However, the Huanghe often floods. Millions of people have died because of these floods. The Changjiang or Yangtze River is another important waterway in China. Like the Huanghe, the Changjiang provides rich soil for farming. It also serves as a way of trade and transportation. Mountains and deserts cover mo much of China. They were difficult to cross, acting like walls around the country. These natural barriers limited contact between China and other civilizations. The high mountains and vast deserts helped China develop a unique culture. Chinese civilization was different from other civilizations. Geographic feature rivers. The effect on Chinese civilization. It provided rich soil for Chinese farmers, caused many deaths by flooding, used as waterways for trade and transportation. The geographic feature of mountains. The effect on the Chinese civilization formed a barrier around the country, making it difficult for invaders to enter, made it possible for China to develop a unique culture and civilization. Geographic feature deserts. Effect on Chinese civilization created a barrier around the country like the mountains did. The first Chinese dynasty. A dynasty is a line of rulers who belong to the same family. Historians believe the first Chinese dynasty was the Shang. The Shang dynasty began about 1750 BC. Ruins of walls and buildings show that the Shang built the first cities in China. One was the royal capital at Anyang. A palace and temple stood at the city's center. Public buildings and the homes of government officials were nearby. Beyond these stood workshops and other homes. <music>